Okay, so I spent probably an hour or more on this. Um, I think I'm going to have to recondition the caps. These are they're new caps, but they're caps that were old stock in uh, electronic uh, facility, and I bought them, and I've had them for probably five years or so. So. I think I'm going to have to uh, recondition them and I might try I might try again after I recondition them but uh, because it, it almost sound like it almost looked like it was starting to show a little promise but I'm talking millivolts it was just charging up millivolts so Maybe if I recondition the capacitor, it would uh, work a little better because, uh, you know, I, you're talking a fair amount of voltage here. So I first was using this one here, which is what? Whoa, can that be right? 100. 110,000 microfarads? Well, that's probably why it wasn't, uh, oh, it wasn't this one I was using. Because that's only 25 volts. I was going to say, I don't remember it being that big. Yeah, it was this one here. Uh, 3,600 microfarads at uh, 350 volts DC. Because I wasn't really quite sure. I knew I was stepping it down, but I wasn't quite sure how much I was stepping it down. So I wanted to be safe, and I was trying with this one here first, and this was just way too big. It was way too big. It would, uh, it would take the, it would take the pulse, but then it would just absorb it. So, uh, yeah. So I've, I, uh, I had one of these uh, full wage bridge rectifiers I had hooked up with a mica capacitor to smooth out the ripple then into another capacitor and even this capac capacitor is fairly big what is this yeah 10,000 microfarads at 35 volts DC so actually this one is a bigger as in microfarads so even though it's smaller it's actually bigger so I don't know and I'm not really quite sure about the mica capacitor so I did a bunch of experiments here <sighs> did wires you know strip wires did, did all up there and stuff and um I've pretty well, well, since whatever video, I've done quite a bit to it. I've uh, wound another coil, or maybe it's two coils since my last video, I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah. Oh, geez, this is off. I wonder why. Oh, that must have been just me hitting it. Because I am going to turn it back on, so gotta make sure it's fairly snug uh yeah I might as well just turn it on and and show what's going on there's not a whole lot going on uh as you can see the spark is still uh, going fine um I hooked up the uh, capacitors again it's going to flash here or not for us yeah you can see it but uh, it's going up to uh, I think it's about it's on the 10 scale so it's going up about uh, 30 or 40 volts pulses
Actually, I should try something. Instead of going with the, uh, the full wedge bridge rectifier, it is just... I think it's the back EMF pulse. I think is what I'm picking up. So I, I might try something else here.